What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with a kind of rant video and it's literally one of those things that boggles my mind. You think to yourself, what the heck are Bungie actually doing here? Now we have had so many steps in the right direction regarding Destiny 2. In fact, all steps for me have made progress towards a better game. They are listening, they are delivering and we are happy. Do you guys remember a time where so much of the best loot was locked behind Eververse? Do you remember the uproar once everyone clocked onto this? It led to Destiny 2 becoming in the worst state the franchise has ever been in since day one, Destiny 1. In my opinion, although it wasn't the only part which made the game come across so bad, it was a major factor in doing so. It gave us as a community the impression of which it seemed Bungie were slowly trying to take the game and that was away from the game we all fell in love with. They realised the mistake they made. They realised we as a community wasn't going to suck that shit in and play along. The Destiny community as a whole is on a whole higher level of intelligence to the ones such as Fortnite and COD and I will say it, yes we have the odd clueless fool who was dropped in his head one too many times as a kid, but for the majority of us we see and understand the minor changes these game developers try and make which in turn changes the bigger picture of the game down the line. Destiny 2 was becoming that bigger picture, a picture that went from a beautiful portrait of my white ass to a piss poor scribble of colours from that kid who was dropped on his head one too many times. A few months back most of us realised the changes Bungie had already made and were making and it wasn't for the good of anyone but their greedy pockets. And we saw this, we spoke out, while well, most of us did, you still had the casual content creator sucking up everything they did and praising it like it's what we all wanted and it's for the better good. It's your fault the game went so damn bad. If people spoke out and spoke the truth, the game would never have sunk so damn low. To a point in which I still think it's beyond recovery. It will never get to its former glory in my opinion. But yeah, we saw changes that had been and were being made. But nope, we were not having any of it. We spoke out, we made our voices heard, and for the most part it's thanks to the millions who didn't say nothing, they just left the game and moved on and played other things, so you guys are owed a big fat DPJ thank you. Bungie started listening, Bungie started making changes, Bungie were being super transparent into things coming, releasing things such as roadmaps, we started seeing many of the Bungie employees being super active on Twitter and in turn we started seeing much better changes being made to the game. Yeah I mean for sure, most of us who have more than a single brain cell realise the changes they made to the core game of Destiny 2 can't be changed overnight. Such things as random roles, weapon slot changes and changes to exotics, we know and realise these things can take ages because we know what they have to work with but we are happy as a hardcore player to wait as long as we know these said changes are coming and they are yeah for the most part the game won't be perfect until september but at least we know all the goodness we loved which was removed from the first game will slowly return so we are happy Destiny 2 for me at the moment is in the best state it's been in since I can remember. This Warmind DLC was great, it had many changes incorporated to make the game last much longer and although the scale of the DLC is far from the biggest, it feels much bigger due to the amount of things you can do and grind for. I'd give this DLC a solid 7 out of 10. The Curse of Osiris I'd give a 4 and that's being generous people. So I know what you're thinking people, this video so far has been for the better good of changes Bongo made to Destiny 2. So why does it seem like it's going to turn into bad news for them? Well it isn't over yet. So Iron Banner has arrived, 6v6 control, 6v6 feels great and should be permanent. Iron Banner offers a whole new set of rewards, some great looking armour ornaments, which again will take a major grind to obtain, which we like. So let's take a look at some of the loot. So people we have the armor ornaments, uh, this is a cloak, will take you 5 ranks so you need to unlock 5 packages to get this. We then have a side arm, allied demand looking good, we have a leg ornament, we have a sniper, we have um, armor ornaments which look great as well, we have an SMG, we have a chest ornament, we have a hand cannon which looks pretty good, we have the helmet ornament which looks incredible, a rocket launcher, auto rifle, an emblem, we have a ship, all of these look pretty good and like you can see this takes where well, you need to open 35 packages in order to buy this, the emblem 30 packages, the auto rifle you need to open 30 packages, uh, 25 for the rocket launcher, 
armor ornaments 25 plus you need to win 25 matches so dpj you're thinking what's all the fuss about well guys there's one thing missing from this loot pool and that is the exotic iron banner emote something judging by the ranks needed for each reward i'd expect such to be locked behind maybe 50 ranks or maybe even 60 ranks but oh no people it seems as though Bungie are trying to pull a fast one again. Let's head over to test the scammy bastard. So this exotic emote guys is locked behind this paywall of £8. And guess what? As I believe this is the only way you can obtain this emote. Do you guys remember a time when Bungie said nothing will be locked behind a paywall with Eververse? Another lie again I'm guessing. Worst thing is people, you can't get this any other way. Everything else here you can get via engrams which you can buy or you can grind the game for. This is something they have added into the game to get that extra buck. And to me it isn't about the fact of if you don't want it don't buy it or if you buy it you're part of the problem. That to me is utter BS. Bungie here have chose to do the ultimate scumbag thing and make you actually pay for something you would want. And yes guys I know this is only an emote, it's a minor thing we really don't care about. But remember the bigger picture down the line? which went from a beautiful portrait of my white ass to a scribble of colours. That's what things like this lead to. If this was to go unnoticed and not spoke of, Bungie would think, oh well next time we will lock a piece of exotic gear or an exotic ornament behind this to entice people even more. And then again, something down the line it would be even bigger. And then it becomes a problem for them to address again. I mean, I'm doing nothing here but trying to help them in the long run. Things like this, yes, I don't care if you have to buy them, but at least allow us to play for them. That's what I thought Bungie was trying to get across to us when shit hit the pan. Eververse stuff will not be locked behind a paywall. Well, it seems now, people, certain things are. And this, in my opinion, has dented that faith Bungie have slowly been getting back from me. It's a scummy ass move, in my opinion, guys. £8 really isn't a lot of money. I'm pretty sure most could afford it. The point is, it's the only way you can get this. Bad move, Bungie. Bad move. On that note guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below in that comments section. And hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the